What's up YouTube, Chicho Gamer here with another Minecraft tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a farm. Now this is another video in my Minecraft Essentials series as it is pretty much an essential thing that you will need in Minecraft to survive so you don't starve to death. Now I apologize if my voice is a bit croaky or a bit hard to understand as I actually have the flu and I'm sorry if I stop recording and start recording the video again as I probably will be coughing or sniffling or sneezing and I don't think you guys would want to hear that. Anyway, getting on with the video. So as you can see here, I've made a really quick farm. Now I'm not going to go into much detail about it as it's not too complex, but I'll give you a quick view around. So essentially what I've done is, if you watch my previous video in regards to how to make a tree farm, you'll realize where I am. And I'm actually underneath the house that I made for you earlier. So if you remember this house that I made a little bit earlier, nothing's changed about it pretty much. All that's been added is, as you saw, that massive uh, white structure, which actually holds the things that I've done, like the tree farm, the farm I'm about to show you, and a few other things that I'll show you in later videos. So if we go back inside the house, I'll show you once again the farm. Now, obviously, in case you haven't seen the other video, through the doors into the house, and both sides are identical, however this side leads to an underground area. Now in terms of making the farm, you don't actually have to make it underground or underneath your house. I'm just showing you how to do that, just because I personally think it's the best thing to do. Now I found that the crops do not grow as fast as if you were to grow them outside, however they do eventually grow and don't take that much longer. Now keep in mind guys, you don't have to build a farm underground, this is just a demonstration. You can replica what I've done above ground or wherever you want. As I said, you can just make a fenced off area and put a farm in there. Or you can make a farm lifted off the ground. Or you can make sort of a big warehouse room and put your farm in there. Or you can do what I've done here. If you were to make the warehouse room however, you can make it exactly how I'm about to show you as I personally think that's the best way and the best layout. If you want a smaller, bigger, you can do as you please. I'm just going to be showing you what it can potentially look like and that it is an essential thing that you will need in Minecraft if you are wanting to survive in survival mode. Now I'm in creative mode just for the ease of the video. However, everything that I'm showing you now, you will have to have in survival mode to make sure that it's an effective farm. So, first off, as you can see here guys, I have this area of chests. Now, essentially it's just chiseled stone with glowstone and more chiseled stone with some mossy stone and dirt. Now these chests, obviously I haven't put anything in them, but these are pictures of what they could contain. For example, if you have hoes, for example, say you're just starting off and you have an iron hoe, and you have a, a wooden hoe even, or a stone hoe, what you would do is you'd store all of these in this chest. So you wouldn't have to have any chest above or anything like that. You just come straight into your farm, grab a hoe, and then start taking all your crops and then re sowing your crops into the ground for them to grow again next time. You can also keep other things down here. For example, if you have, like, for example, the dirt blocks or the grass blocks, obviously you'll have dirt blocks. You can keep dirt blocks in here as well in case when you're doing all the hoeing, you accidentally hit one of those blocks away, all you need to do is grab your dirt blocks from your chest and place one back. Now over here, the next chest is essentially an area where you keep all your seeds and all the crops that you harvest. And what you do is use frames and then place the actual items that you get into the frame. For example, I have them sorted out so they are actually in sections. And I'm show you in a second what I mean by in sections but they're actually to demonstrate of what's on each side for example as you can see a carrot and a piece of wheat on this side so on the left side if you're looking down this path on the left hand side of the path you have carrots and wheat so this chest contains everything that is on the left side of the path then this chest over here contains everything that is on the right side of the path as you can see, there's a pumpkin and a watermelon. And as you can see on this side, there's the pumpkins there and the watermelons there. 
So everything on the left side, put in the chest on the left, that you harvest and even seeds, and everything from the right side, put on a chest on the right side. As I said, this is an example, you can keep it all in one chest, it's completely up to you. I just find this is the easiest way to organize everything and have everything laid out. So now I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the actual farm itself. Now the farm itself is pretty basic and pretty easy to make. Obviously, it's a farm you would make when you're a bit more advanced. Start off with a farm such as the one I showed you in my previous video in how to make a shelter and that will give you a demonstration of just the first sort of farm you can make in your house that you'd start off with. So essentially as you can see there I've used these frames again just to let me know what is in each section. So for the frames obviously you place them down and then you can get the items that you need and just place them in the frames just to let you know quickly and easily what's actually in that area and as you can see the carrot and weaver there just like I put the carrot and the wheat there so you can knock those frames away or knock the thing out and then place something else if you've gotten it wrong so as you can see there I have carrots there and then it's labeled with the carrots then I have potatoes here as you can see there are potatoes there then I have wheat here as you can see there's some fully grown wheat there and as you can see here there's sugarcane and in the background you can see the frames with the sugarcane obviously when this sugarcane has been cut like I am doing now and harvested you'll be able to see the frames again and remember with the sugarcane you don't actually have to get rid of that last block just get rid of the top two and it will actually grow back eventually it may take a little while but it will definitely grow back on this side as you can see you just see the frames behind there but these are cocoa beans which you can make cookies out of then next you can see there are pumpkins right here and then next is the watermelons now with the watermelons I've actually shown you both types for example you can see here that there is the watermelon in solid form which is this and then there's the watermelon slices so all you need to do is obviously when you hit it you will actually get the watermelon slices which are edible so that's essentially everything in the farm guys I hope this video helped you out and I hope you like the layout that I have done and I hope it helps you to survive in your Minecraft journey. Thanks heaps for watching guys. If you have any questions or anything about how I made it or the steps I went through, please leave a comment and make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks heaps guys.